One day, checking your blood glucose might be as simple as checking the time. No needles necessary. Apple is one of the companies aiming at this market with its popular watches. It already has packed in plenty of health features, but one of them has gotten it in trouble. Apple recently pulled its newest watches from shelves due to an ongoing sensor-related patent dispute. But its development of new features isn't likely to stop, including for blood glucose. A simpler, non-invasive way to track blood glucose could revolutionize diabetes care and broader health management. For years, Apple and other big tech companies have been working on this. So what's the holdup? I'll dig into Apple's secrets, decode its patents, and chat up some big brains in health tech for clues, including a CEO who knows a thing or two about where things are headed. It's a tremendous evolution versus where people were back in 2000s, right? Right now, this is what managing diabetes often looks like. This patch is a continuous glucose monitor. It uses a tiny needle to measure how much sugar is in your blood. When you eat carbs, your body breaks them down into glucose, which enters your bloodstream. A rise in blood glucose tells your pancreas to release insulin, which helps cells convert glucose into energy. For diabetics, monitoring this process is crucial because their bodies either can't produce enough insulin or can't adequately use the insulin it produces. For non-diabetics, medical experts say tracking glucose can help you lose weight or make healthier lifestyle choices. But it's been nearly impossible for tech to measure glucose from above the skin. Though we may be getting closer. Today's combination of advanced materials, sophisticated data processing, and wearable tech could change things, eventually. I spoke to a doctor helping people manage diabetes about this. So much has happened in this technology in general. If you think back to where we were 30 years ago, it's not a matter of if, it's a matter of when. Detecting glucose is much trickier than tracking a heartbeat. Heart rhythm signals tend to be relatively strong and consistent. Even from outside your body, you can sometimes see it happening. But tracking glucose non-invasively involves detecting subtle changes inside the body. To peer beneath the skin, researchers often use light. Some have tried using magnets and other tools too. But glucose is a tiny molecule. It has a faint signal and can be confused with other substances in the body. Now things have come a long way. I spoke to Robert Ford, CEO of Abbott, one of the leaders in the diabetes tech industry. I can remember back like in the, in the 2000s when you took a little mini needle and you pricked your finger and you got a bunch of blood out. And that was in a tremendous advancement versus the 70s. So you fast forward now to CGMs, you know, with a sensor that you put on your arm, you don't have to prick your fingers. Abbott's work centers around modernizing health monitoring practices, but the company couldn't figure out a way to reliably track glucose levels without a needle. We worked on uh, some non-invasive technologies in the past and we ended up abandoning it because we just didn't feel that we could get the level of accuracy and reliability you know, by using kind of optical sensors. Google tried too, with an ambitious smart contact lens in 2014, but it abandoned the efforts four years later after struggling to generate reliable readings. Reports say Apple is trying to add glucose monitoring to the Apple Watch, though there's no clear timeline. Apple declined to comment, but experts say the move seems plausible. And whatever company does figure out how to do this, will likely do so using something resembling an Apple Watch. And we make a lot of jokes about thin skin, and I guess it depends on the technology, but the skin is very thin uh, at the wrist, where we are already wearing watches. So I think that's, no pun intended, I think that's the sweet spot here. In 2010, Apple reportedly bought Rarelight, a startup that was working on tech for glucose monitoring. In 2017, Apple's investment in similar tech was revealed through one of its partner's regulatory filings. Apple patents submitted in 2018 describe two sensors, one of which lists sugar levels as a potential trackable metric. And in 2021, the company filed a patent application for tech that would use electromagnetic radiation instead of light. Today, these can alert us to medical emergencies, but it seems in the future, our wrist-worn wearables may be more like mini doctors, if they can track blood sugar accurately enough to warn us about potential problems. But who knows, maybe one day the wearable on your wrist will tell you to skip the extra donut.